Hello and welcome dear children. Today we shall study a new poem that is 2.1 The Cloth Line written by the poetess Charlotte Drouet Cole. Charlotte was born on 13th January 1878. She wrote many poems which are especially based on the interest of children of the famous books which are written by Charlotte Drouet Cole are Play for Children Chums The Play R Express and Tales for Little Folk Let us see what she has to say through the poem The Cloth Line Poem number 2.1 The Cloth Line Hand in hand they dance in a row Hither and thither and to and fro Flip flap flop and away they go Fluttering creatures as white as snow Like restive horses they caper and prance Like fairy tale witches they wildly dance rounded in front but hollow behind they shiver and skip in the merry march wind one i saw dancing excitedly struggling so wildly till she was free then leaving pegs and cloth lines behind her she flew like a bird and no one can find her i saw her glim like a sail in the sun flipping and flapping and flopping for fun nobody knows where she now can be hid in a ditch or drowned in the sea she was my handkerchief not long ago but she'll never come back to my pocket i know do you know what a cloth line is look at this picture i am sure you must have seen clothes drying on a long rope in your house or in a backyard you must have also seen your mama hanging the washed and wet clothes on a rope to dry the rope used to dry the clothes are called cloth line the poetess is talking about the clothes hanging on the cloth line to her they look like as if they are holding hands and they are dancing happily standing in a row or a line and when they dance they make a sound that is flip flap flop when they move in this manner they look like the white birds that fly in the sky here the poetess has used figure of speech that is simile in the following sentence fluttering creatures as white as snow she compares clothes to white birds that fly in the sky in second stanza the poetess again compares the clothes hanging on the cloth line to restless horses that are leaping and galloping with happiness the sentence from the poem is like restive horses they caper and prance so here the poet has used the word like and it is comparing clothes with the horse okay so next again she has used another comparison that is with fairy tale witches which wildly dance 
here wildly dance means to dance very hard or violently further she says as the clothes flutter on the cloth line they form a bowl like shape you must have seen mama keeping some food articles in a bowl it has edges and it is hollow inside so the clothes just look like a bowl rounded at the edge and hollow in the center next the poetess has also observed the clothes shivering and skimming in the wind that is very happy during the month of march children would you like to be locked in a room for long hours and not allowed to go out for any reason i know it is difficult task to stay in a room for so long and this pandemic has made us so helpless and has left no option other than to stay home for our safety but sometimes we play mischief and without permission we want to go out and play we all like to be free and enjoy our own way even in this poem we find that one of the cloth in the cloth line is dancing excitedly and with great struggle she wants to be free and later we find that this cloth is successful in freeing herself she gets freed after being free from the pegs and the cloth line she flew like a bird so far that no one was able to follow her and no one could find her here the word peg has come peg means what peg means a pin on one side you will find the cloth is happy to be free from the pegs and the cloth line but if you see the other side the poetess feel very sad about it that she will not be able to see the piece of cloth again the poetess continues the poem by saying that i saw her glim like a sail in the sun glim here means a soft light that shines for a short time with the suspense the poetess compares that someone to a shining sail she shares her experience as to what she has seen she tells us that she saw the cloth flipping flapping and flopping away with joy and happiness and going so far that nobody knows where the cloth went and where it could be children if you do not come home on time after regular school gets over you all must have observed your mama and dada getting worried about you they will start finding for you and get restless till you are safe home all this happens because they love you and they care for you similarly the poetess is worried about her small piece of cloth let us see what happens next to the cloth in my next video so i hope you all have understood whatever i have explained just now let us revise some meanings from the poem first one restive means restless unable to remain still second caper means leap number 3 is prance walk or move 
with high springy steps and number 4 is ditch that is a trench number 5 glim stream of light number 6 drowned that is submerge under water for homework you are going to learn meanings that i have given and at the same time you will learn first three stanzas of the poem till then take care thank you